you know, in Spain, I may be presumptuous to assume what you guys think and feel. You know, but one season ends, you need to start thinking the next season. Uh, and it's easy to forget how personal this is. Um, it's easy to, in, in your excitement, um, good, bad, right, wrong for the next year, to, to, to forget that, you know, we have one, two, three, four, five, six people. Um, the elephant is not in the room, it's Josh. Um, and that Josh is all getting ready for the next phase of his life, so Josh is not here. So let's just say that. Okay, moving on. But you have guys here that have given a lot and received a lot from this institution. Um, and that their lives, as, as you are hearing them articulate uh, as best they can, have been touched by this institution. And hopefully, in some small way, they have touched this institution. Uh, but that's what's special about this place. This is not one of those places where you come for a few months and you leave, and it's not a part of you. Georgetown will be uh, Greg Roberts. I'm talking about him later. Um, a part of their lives as much as it is a part of our lives. Um, and, and, and the time spent here has been special. And it's above and beyond, I say, I say this every year, I think, it's above and beyond the 30 whatever snippets that you guys get to see of games. It's the everyday grind. It's the everyday growth. It's the everyday development. It's the everyday learning. It's the everyday struggle that 17 to 22 year old boys go through and that they are very fortunate to be a part of, that's because Brodus is from True Call of Brodus. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and they're very grateful for and very thankful for them. So now we have a young man who loved it so much he spent five years here. Um, and I I've said, publicly, I believe, that Roy Hibbert developed and grew as a player during his time even more than anyone I've coached. Roy gets mad when you say that, because it implies accurately <laughs> that he was awful when he got here. <laughs> Pretty good when he left. Uh, as much as Roy had grew on the court, I think Aaron Bowen has grown as a young man. Uh, and I am confident that we can now push him out of the nest for whatever happens next. A.B. Hey,
It was kind of hard for me. I was always kind of like in trouble, things like that. And then the reason why I just missed school is just because of my grades. So I really want to appreciate, I appreciate you for taking that chance on me. Um, being able to uh, put on a Holy's jersey opened up many more blessings in my life. The most, uh, the most special blessing was meeting people you know, my basketball career at Georgetown. I want to start off thinking Greg Roberts, big coach, and my superwoman, Miss Michaels. I want to thank you guys for always giving me the words of encouragement and motivation throughout the years. It making me feel that you guys are always on uh, my back when I thought things was, uh, was going to get better for me. I also want to thank Sean Henry, Mike Hill. Thank you guys for being the people that me and my teammates could come to, talk to, and relate to. I really appreciate, appreciate all the things that you guys have done for us. I know it wasn't easy dealing with us half of the time, especially with you guys having family taking time off dealing with us. I want to thank you guys. I want to thank the coaching staff for all you guys' support throughout the years. I want to give special thanks to Coach Poe for having me develop as a player that I am today. I want to thank the managers for all you guys' hard work and dedication, all the long hours to make sure us and the fellas are uh, ready for the games. Um, Ms. Kim and Robert Curry, I want to, uh, I'm going to start with Ms. Robin first, I'm sorry. Uh, Ms. Robin, walking to the gym every day, going to the office every day, made my day. Just seeing the side on your face every day has made me feel good. Even though I have a bad day, this scene just made my day even better. Um, Ms. Kim, you know I have mad love for you. <laughs> Honestly, you. Uh, you had the strength to put up with me through my most stubborn times. You always were there when I needed someone to talk to the most. I feel like I feel like you may know me the most out of everybody sitting here today. You were like a mom away from home. You stayed on me when times got hard for me, when I feel like they went up, but you was always there to talk to me and talk about other things. You was always there checking up on me when I needed to be checked up on time. Be checked up on when my world times. By the time my grandmother passed, your willingness to uh, sit down and mourn with me that day had me not only to share the times that I had with her, but also your concern outside of class, classroom matters. I really appreciate that. And to the fellas, my brothers, you guys always have a special place in my heart. I cherish special moments with each and one of you guys. I feel like this year's team was the closest I've ever been on. The person who has you guys were a really special group. I can see you guys going really far. Thank you guys for coming and understanding how important last season was for me personally and the rest of the team as well. You guys came in and worked hard and wanted to be willing to listen to get better. I really respect you guys for that. To the upperclassmen, we all been through together. But some of us started off in China to win in the Big East regular season title toward the present season we had a few years ago. Through these times, I had many memories Connections. We became more teammates. I can see you guys as family, and I love you guys. Um, the lady I want right now to stand up is Ann Kester. If you can, please stand. Thank you for helping me get through one of the most toughest assignments that I ever had to deal with in school. If I finish this assignment, I'll be able to get a Georgetown diploma, which I never thought that would happen. <laughs> I remember thinking that I would be even be able to graduate from high school. You're a true blessing that God has placed in my life. Thanks for your time and your patience with me. Thanks for all the prayers and words of encouragement you gave me throughout my last season. I also want to thank you for being with me too when my grandmother passed. 
you really made me feel like a family member of your own. It's made me feel special. So thank you, Aunt Kessie. You really changed a young man's life. Who never thought we would made it this far. Thank you. <laughs>